Hey guys, welcome back to Jason and Joni Builds. We're back in the shop today on our 66 Bronco project. It's time we get rid of my granddad's old uh, uh, trash pickup stick, prop rod. <laughs> so uh, we're going to compare the Tom's Bronco part and James Duff hood strut support assembly. So uh, you guys give us a thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned, because here we go. All right, guys. So uh, I did a little research on uh, support rods for the hood, and a buddy of mine told me he said, you know, check out Duff's uh, James Duff Bronco, and they have one that has a support. We'll show you here in a minute. I, I have a Bronco here that has it. We'll walk out there and uh, show you how it attaches. It's a uh, it's a little bit more beefy unit because it uh, actually supports. The center of the hood where a Bronco is notoriously weak and uh, if you have a used hood or you know your Bronco's got some age on it it's probably a pretty, pretty good idea to use the James Duff. It's a little more expensive it's uh, right around 120 bucks as opposed to $60 from Tom's Bronco and what I'm putting on mine is a Tom's Bronco because I have a new hood and it seemed pretty simple and I felt like if it felt weak once I get all these struts put on there I can just I can put some steel in and reinforce that a little bit and uh, save myself sixty dollars and spend that somewhere else so uh, just a real quick rundown we'll show you the parts and we'll walk out look at the James Duff parts and then we'll install this one to see how it works to recap this is Tom's Bronco so you can see they have their little stamp on their uh, struts this is your fender support bracket and then these are the brackets that mount to the hood the hardware it comes with and instructions very bold letters in their instructions they say if you have a weak hood or it already has stress cracks let me go ahead and show you usually where these things will start splitting is between these two supports you'll start getting stress cracks right in here but again this is a brand new hood they say if you've modified this due to a hood scoop, you can't use these struts because your hood will shut uneven and you'll end up warping and destroying your hood. Again, if you have any structural integrity issue at all, I wouldn't suggest going with the uh, Tom's Bronco parts. That's, that's just why, because it's putting all the stress here and it comes down to the front of the hood. So when you're actually pulling down on your hood, you're putting all the stress like right in here. So, but we'll see what it feels like here in a second. So let's go look at the James Duff system and we can talk about it real quick. Alright guys, here's my buddy's uh, 76 Bronco and again, what we were just talking about, he's got the James Duff system so you can tell they're a little bit different where the struts mount at your front support on your hood and then come down to the back of the firewall and then they have this okay and then of course the fender support there but they had this big beefy support in here to help re-support your hood you know if it's if you have any question that yours is weak and let me show you on his on both sides his hood is actually split can you see here so this is this is the kind of stuff that we're talking about and actually just seeing his split I'm probably going to go ahead and reinforce my hood because right now there's a I haven't done any body work to it yet, and now's the time to do it. I can go and do some preventative maintenance and still save me $60. Anyways, that side and, and this side, you can see, is actually split really good. So I guess as far as ease of operation, let's go ahead and see what this one feels like. They don't do anything about a hot hood. Dang it. <laughs> it works well. Now let's go see what mine looks like with the Tom's Bronco parts hood strut. Alright, so we're back here on our Bronco. 
What uh, we're just going to go ahead and get the kit mounted. It's fairly simple. You want to get your bracket. It's got sort of a flat side here, and then just sort of a shaped side on the other. The flat side goes towards the front of the Bronco. We're back on our Bronco. We've got our bracket here. The flat side of the bracket goes towards the front of the Bronco. So I went ahead and pulled my fender bolt out. We'll get this put in. Once we get this tightened down, I'll go ahead and uh, get the drill and drill the hole into the apron and we'll get that pulled down tight. We'll get our attachment point put on the hood and see what we got. You guys don't look at these fasteners that I'm using. This is mock-up fasteners. I'm going to use stainless when I put it together. There's one thing Germany noticed is that the bracket doesn't sit exactly square on the apron and actually it's not the same way on both sides so it's no big deal we can tighten it down and see what we got the kit comes with a quarter inch bolt for your bottom support that that you have to drill a hole into your apron so you know just use a drill bit just one size larger than a quarter inch so you have a little bit of room Now we have our shock mounts that we need to attach to our bracket and it comes with a lock nut and washer so I'll just tighten it up. Okay so now we want to mount our our hood support. So the instructions say it needs to be one inch from the edge to the edge of your steel. All right, well, on this hood, I can see it's got a, a break, which is an inch. So if I put the edge of this on that break and then mark my two holes, that'll be right where I need it. Here's an issue. To go with an inch like they say, I'm gonna be on a rolled section. So I'm gonna push it back an eighth of an inch. So it's gonna be an inch and an eighth on mine. I don't know if you can tell but the, uh, the roll starts right in here. So I'm gonna go an inch and an eighth from here to here and put my leading edge of this mount right here. Just like that. All right guys, this is one of the things they say in the instructions and it's a good idea. You don't have to go any deeper than about an eighth of an inch into that support. And what they want you to do is just wrap some tape around your drill bit especially for those of you guys that have your hood already painted. That way, when you're drilling, you don't go too deep. You just pop through that first layer of steel. And it's just the supplied Phillips headed screws. And that hole could be one size larger. What I ended up having to do is the, they said drill it with an eighth of an inch drill bit. Well, these screws they sent, that wasn't big enough, so I stepped it up to uh, 11 30 seconds. That still wasn't quite big enough. So what, what I had was a, um, a screw that had basically a 5 16 head on it. And I ran it in and kind of cheated the threads to start with. And then I was able to get this in there. If not, I was just going to sit there and strip these out. So. I don't know if they changed the, the screw size at some point. But that definitely wasn't right for this. But... We're good, like I said, that's just easy fix. Just so you guys know. 
move to the other side. Uh, well, we'll I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and do the other side. You've seen this install this, and then we'll get our struts snapped on and see how they work. So we're going to stick our, our struts on. So that side is uh, drilled and ready. This one, they just basically snap in place. And then let Joni grab this hood rod. It will stick. There. One second, we'll close it. Look Here at me, go. you're talking to the Bronco. Here we go. Uh, it's at a good height, I like that. The, uh, the instructions say don't pull it from the side. They say you always, when you're closing your hood with these, you want to close it from the front. <laughs> nice. That was the first time I've closed it, guys. <laughs> As you can see, it kind of surprised me how quick it sort of drops at the end. Yeah, it, right in here, it's you better have it. So it. It takes it from you after about a foot and a half. It's nice, but there is one thing. If you guys wonder if it flexes, let me get Journey to get a little closer. So let me see if you can see my hand. Right in here, guys, uh, watch this when I pull the hood. You'll see a little bit of flexure. No, that's, you're not going to see it where you're at with the camera. Let's see, maybe. Maybe like that. Alright, Tony, don't slam me up not, in here. I'm just gonna move it a couple inches. Sit right in there. There's just a little bit of movement. It sure isn't much, but I'm probably gonna address that. Alright, we'll show where you were wanting okay. where you're talking about. So right in here guys is where I can see the hood actually move. When I when I put pressure on it to close it. I can actually see this portion of the hood actually rolling down just a little bit. I was trying to get an angle where you could see that, that right in there. It's not much, but I think over time it will eventually weaken that. So what I can do, I don't want anything that you can really see. I, I don't want to take away from the looks of the Bronco. So I'll probably hide something right in here and tie it front to back and just kind of stiffen this area up. So, no big deal. So there we have it guys. Um, I hope that was a, a decent comparison of the two. Uh, well, we did an install. One of them's already installed. James Duff, Tom's Bronco parts. The Tom's Bronco parts works well. Uh, it does have some some areas for improvement. Uh, if if money is an issue, you know you can do a little bit of work yourself, like I'm going to do. Save sixty dollars. If you just want to buy something that you can just bolt on and not have to worry about, spend the extra sixty dollars and uh, get it from uh, James Duff. At least I know now. Um, I'm I'm not sure exactly which way I'll go on the next one, but uh, you know we we have to try these things to learn for ourselves. So uh, maybe this will help you make an informed decision. Well, uh, well, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Y'all take care.